I'm signed into Google Documents. I'm going to click More and I'm going to click on Documents and click on Create and click on Form. My uh, form comes up ready for the first question and I can also name it right here if I want. I can say Technology for Teachers and now I'm ready to put in my first question. What is your name? I do want it to be a text um, response. And um, oh, here, if you look, you can see that this is where you can edit. And if I wanted to make another question very similar to this one, I could just duplicate it. Or if I'm not happy with this, I can delete it. So here, I can also make this a required question, which I'll do. And then Google will put an asterisk, a red asterisk, next to the question. And if the person doesn't answer the question, they can't submit the form. So now I'm done with this question. And um, it comes up with... Um, sample question two. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to um, click the edit for question two so I can make some changes here. Question two will be do you try to stay up to date with technology and how? And so um, this time I want a paragraph text because I want them to have more room to respond to the question. So I'm happy with this. And I'm going to say done. Now this time they only give you two, um, two question places to start off with. So add an item. And I'm going to make this a multiple choice. And this question is going to be, have you ever used a QR code in your classroom? And um, option one is going to be yes. Option two is going to be no. And option three is going to be, I don't know what a QR code is. And I'm happy with all this, so I'm going to say done. I'm going to make a question now and I'm going to make this one a checkbox. And the question is, which of the following Web 2.0 websites have you used? And um, one is going to be Wikispaces or Skype or Glogster, or Prezi, back channels, and none of the above. Now check boxes are great because they let you choose more than one, whereas multiple choice only lets you choose one. So this is done. And um, now I need another question. So my next question is going to be a drop-down list. And this question is, if I uh, could only use one device to use to respond to email, it would be and so now I'm going to say it would be a smartphone, an iPad, a laptop, a desktop. And I'm done with this question. My next question is going to be a scale question. And I would cons consider attending some Web 2.0 sessions if offered by technology. And on a scale of 1 to 10, we're going to say 1 uh, is no, not really. And we're going to say 10 is 
I would love it. And now we come to our very last choice. So we've done text, we've done paragraph text, we've done a multiple choice which lets you choose only one out of the choices. We've done check boxes where you can choose more than one. We've had a drop down list. We've had the scale and now we're going to do the grid. So the grid is going to have five columns and we're going to call our columns Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whoops, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday. Okay, and this is going to be our rows, and we're going to say before school. And we're going to say lunchtime. And we're going to say after school. And now we are done. And here's our grid. So now let's take a really fast look at this. Um, we seem to have, uh, do you try to stay up with date technology and how seems to have moved. So I'm going to take this. I want the name to be at the top. So see how I dragged that up? What is your name? I just moved that right up. And um, there's a text question, a paragraph. Here we have multiple choice. And again, if I want to change something here, I have a misspelling, I can just go right into the edit and change it. These are check boxes, and you can choose more than one. And drop down. And I have a grid. I have a scale. And I have a grid. You can also choose a theme. Right now it's plain. So let's go and choose a theme. And there's lots of choices to choose from here. So let's just say that we like um, this one. That's kind of nice, isn't it? Now here's our form. Notice how this is required with the asterisk. What is your name? That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? That's how easy it is. Thanks very much for watching.